So YouTube recently introduced two new features that I think kind of went a little under the radar, but if they take off, I think it could really change the game when it comes to streaming services. One of the biggest complaints that I hear from people when it comes to streaming is that there are too many darn streaming services, and they don't like to hop from streaming service to streaming service, having to worry about different logins for every app, different payments, it's all kind of a jumbled mess. What YouTube seems to be doing is to try to come up with a solution to keep as many of your streaming services under one roof. The first thing that they're doing to address that is with what they call primetime channels. Now, to sign up for primetime channels, this goes directly through YouTube. If you're on the YouTube desktop website, you'll want to click on the three lines in the upper left-hand corner, or if you're on the mobile app, click on the Explore icon. That's going to pull up a menu and just scroll down until you see Movies and TV. Click on that. And then this will take you to where the primetime channels are at. You can see them here. So this is basically a series of different streaming services that you can subscribe to directly through YouTube. Now you don't have to go to different apps. It works kind of like what Apple and Amazon have done. But this way you're doing everything through YouTube. So you can watch your YouTube videos. You can watch your streaming services under one roof. Now, I believe they plan to expand the streaming services that are included uh, over time. For now, you can see they have Showtime, Paramount Plus, Stars, Hallmark Movies Now, AMC Plus, Shutter, Epix, Deku, lots of good stuff here. And if you go to just the regular YouTube channels for these streaming services, you'll now see options that say try it free or subscribe. The second way that YouTube is changing the game when it comes to streaming services is through the YouTube TV app. Now, as I noted in my review of YouTube TV, one of the things that I like best about it is they have a huge lineup of add-ons that you can include through the YouTube TV app. Now, the problem is in order to sign up for those add-ons in the past, you had to be subscribed to YouTube TV. They've changed it now so that you can sign up for certain add-ons by themselves through the YouTube TV app consolidate everything together and not have to go through different apps or even subscribe to a base plan for YouTube TV. Now, the apps that are included through here are a little bit different than what they have through primetime channels. For example, they include HBO Max, MLB TV, and NBA League Pass. To get to the section where you can sign up for these add-ons by themselves and not with the YouTube TV base plan, you will have to go to a specific landing page. Now, there might be a better way to get there, but what I did is just Google YouTube TV add-ons, scroll until you see this link here that says add-on options for customized streaming, and it will take you to the page that you will need to get set up with this. Another kind of sneaky thing about this is if you'll notice, HBO Max has a seven-day free trial if you sign up for it through the YouTube TV app. Now, if you go to HBO Max on their website or through the HBO Max app itself, you cannot get a free trial. You have to just go straight into your subscription. So this is kind of a workaround if you wanna get that seven day free trial of HBO Max and not have to pay for anything else on top of it. So what do you think? Will you be signing up for any of the YouTube primetime channels or signing up for the add-ons through the YouTube TV app? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things streaming. Later.